Okay, everyone, welcome back to Orcs Must Die 2. We are now up to a map called the Servant Entrance. I'm pretty sure I know what map this is, but we'll just have to go in and see. Oh my god, it's this map. He didn't even check to see if I was breathing. He grabbed my crossbow and blade staff and left me there, lingering at the edge of consciousness. I could have sworn I heard him giggle. When I felt the magic die, I knew what he'd done. He'd saved the world, but he hadn't understood the cost. Droughts, starvation, misery just as bad as the orc mobs had inflicted. I was still the oldest living war mage. With the last of my power, I could open one small weak rift. She was flawed, I knew that. But together, my two ex-apprentices had the potential to be... something more. Alright, so, this, I think I was mistaken last time, we do actually get one more ability slot. Um, and we've got Knoll Hunters coming now, but luckily there's no flying enemies on this map. So, we might not need the Dwarven Missile Launcher. But, we will still need everything else, so I think we're gonna go with, considering we can add one more thing into our arsenal. Let's go with a Haymaker. I feel like the haymaker is pretty damn good. So, on this map, fairly simple. Uh, there's one exit, two entrances. The first entrance is here. They have to come all the way up here, wrap themselves around, come all the way down and up through here, and then turn here, go up these stairs, and the exit is right there. However, the other entrance is just there. In which case, they only have to go up these steps and then turn left to get to the exit. So most of our defense is going to come around these stairways here. So, for example, if I uh, if I block this off, York stops here. that's going to make these top path guys have to go even further down and around there. Right? Which does make a bit more sense, but if instead... I do something like this, and then like this, I believe the top path guys can still just go straight on. Yeah, they can just run straight through and that's perfectly fine for them. But these bottom path guys are going to have to go up the left hand side in order to get through. So we're immediately going to fling good. them back down the stairs when they get up top. And pretty much as often as we can throw them back down. And then we'll have some guitar in between. And I think that'll do us for now. However, our first few waves, or, or at least at the, the very first wave, is going to be coming from this side. So we may as well be over to here to help defend it. Um, so we are getting Knoll Hunters now. Which are essentially the DDTs of uh, Orcs. They will just run at you with a lot of speed and a lot of power and try their best to mess you up. There's one of them right now. So they don't really care too much about actually getting to the exit. They just want to kill you. Okay, so that was a pretty quick wave, but we are starting up the next wave now, which is right next to the exit. <clears throat> Here they come! <laughs> no, big honking orc right there. Choo! Choo! 
Ah, it's good to play this game again. What with the Odyssey happening and all, I've been playing BTD6 for a few days in a row now. Stop it. I also forgot to mention that Null Hunters do not care about barricades. Because they do not care about actually getting through the rift and outside of the map. They just care about hurting me, so they do not care about barricades, and they just run over them. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I've been playing BTD6 these past few days because of the Odyssey, and it's just nice to get back into it. Please fling them all. <laughs> uh, it's just so nice to be getting back into doing things like this. It's nice to take a break from BTD6 to play BTD6, the third person shooter. Uh, it honestly is such a brilliant concept for a game. Like, who would have thought of this? You smell what the war mage is cooking? Alright, and then with these haymakers. Uh, we're essentially... They're ceiling traps. So, we're going to be putting them up here so that they can start mixing up the bad guys and hopefully taking them down with minimal effort. Oh boy, sappers are terrible. We want them gone immediately and I believe they're coming from this direction. the haymaker. So if you wanted to see what that did, there you go. Oh, some little, uh, little faster guys are getting through. That's fine. That's fine. Shouldn't be too difficult to take these guys out. My traps are doing pretty strong work at the moment, but it could get much more difficult later. So if we just put this will be good. more of these down here, fling them back up into more traps. Go, put another brimstone down, put another flim, fling trap down, and you know what, if we aim one over there, That'd be pretty good too. Stabbing All right, time. let's go. There's no reason to wait. It's just gonna make our part-time even worse. All right. So how have you guys been recently? I, man, that that last Odyssey that we did for BTD6, that was pretty painful. Not gonna lie. Rebuilding the economy was a solid difficulty Odyssey. Like, it, it honestly surprised me how difficult it actually was. Where if you, like, didn't pick a good setup, you'd lose and could not beat it. It's actually really cool. And then you just have maps like bloody... What was it called? Fast Tracked. That was just the worst. One more. Yes. There we go. Alright. Hot foot. Set up some more fire traps here. I'm gonna fling these guys back down. It's about to get off. And hopefully that'll be good. Sappers need to die quickly. They don't ruin our whole plan that we've got going on here. Oh crap, there's more. There's more. Stop it. Okay, we got it. We caught him early. There we go. 
Easy enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, this is why I love the fling traps. It's not even that they're, like, really good at dealing damage. It's just hilarious. And it does save you quite a lot of time if they're, if they're progressing quite far through the level. It just saves you a lot of time and effort. So, that just happened. Alright, so... I like this one. Some wall traps there. As well as some spike traps as well. Keep it coming. Every time we fling them down, they're just going to get spiked and arrowed. And it will not be pleasant for them. Let's, let's play some more haymakers as well. I feel like this is a really good map for haymakers. Alright. Bring it on. Honestly, I'm not even sure if we need to do too much. Okay, we need to kill the Savage, that's just a fact. Unleash it straight away. We'll try our best to save some time on the uh, the par time, I guess. So then, have some more destructive things. Oh, it's like heat seeking. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Alright. I'd say we're chilling right now. Like, there isn't really much we need to worry about except for sappers. And even then, we don't have to worry too much. We just need to make sure this one little, one little tiny hallway crossing section is clear from orcs. Or at least will be. <laughs> uh, it's just so much fun watching them, like really push through and struggle to get to you, only to be flung across the map and down some stairs. It almost makes you feel bad. Almost. Get some arrow wars pointing the other way. Let's build some more of these Let's go. for any potential sappers that want to come this round or another round. Other than that, though, I think we're in a solid position here. <laughs> uh, what's better than ragdoll physics? Not a lot. Not a lot. I honestly get just way too much enjoyment from this game. I'm sure I've said this before, but it's just one of the best, like, game ideas in my mind to ever have, like, come up with, because, like, games like BTD6 and other tower defense games have always been bird's eye view, you're controlling the situation, rather than third person shooter, you're participating in the situation. You know, it's always you just you just buy the right things and those things do the work for you. But this is a nice healthy mix where it's like if you set up well enough, you don't actually need to help the things that you've bought, but you can assist if you need it. That's gonna leave a mark. Don't know why I put those there, but why not? It's killing time! Alrighty, final wave. Let's, uh, make it count. Oh, 
luckily we haven't had any sapper problems. We've just uh, dealt with them as they've come through. Are they coming from this side? They are not, so it's fine. We'll just watch the other side for the mini-map. And when they start coming through, like right now, we take them out. It's as simple as that. Oh god, there's more. There's more. You know what? That works too. No, no, come on. Whew. Okay, neither barricade is destroyed, which was the main thing I was concerned about. Because the barricades aren't destroyed so they can heal themselves, thanks to our special ability we gave them. Make sure you get the skulls, otherwise, if you don't get the skulls before the game, like, before you take out all the enemies, you can't pick them up. Hey, there we go. Five skulls, that's what we're looking for. Ding, 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 ding. All right. And we unlocked the ice amulet. That is a solid weapon right there. Ooh, we got quite a few new skulls as well. We got two bonus skulls that we picked up. Uh, and we got 500 more career kills, a new high kill streak, victory, and a perfect victory. Hell yeah. Oh wow, and we actually had a minute and a minute and a quarter to spare. All right, spell book, weapons, stone staff. Enemies stay stoned longer. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're not giving enough respect to our tar traps and spring traps. Spring traps can be reduced even further, and tar traps are really solid. But at the same time, paladins are also pretty solid. And grinders. Weirdly enough. What's, what's the tar trap? Oh, we reduce it in cost? That could be really good. Enemies are slowed even more. Slowing effect persists briefly after leaving the tar. You know what? Let's make it a little bit cheaper. And let's slow them even more. I feel like we should use the tar trap a lot more. Oh, and we've got the uh, ice amulet. Adds an additional ice projectile to primary attack. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Alright guys, now that we're getting into the later half of the uh, story mode, we're gonna be doing just one level per episode. So that was Servant Entrance, we'll be moving on to Passages next, which I've completely forgotten what level that actually is. But, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you all enjoyed, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys.